I play with a lot of passion. I think music is passion. And you try to put it in terms of notes and sounds. And, but I think the, the passion, when you talk about passion, you, you talk about a wide variety of expression. And unlike most of the music today that is meant for just background, you know, really, nobody listens to it anymore. No, hardly anybody listens to music anymore. Well, this, when you, the music that I make, I, I hope that people do listen to it. My job is to hopefully get them into that place where they do indeed want to listen to it. They will experience a tonal and a sonic presence that has a spiritual value almost attached to it. Gretchen and myself, we uh, started a foundation to promote various artistic in endeavors and what we wanted to do was to enable Michael Spreeman to make pianos. So we did that and he started this wonderful business, Spreeman Piano Innovations. So um, he started building what is now called the Ravenscroft. And to our surprise, he put the, our name on it. But I, I thought he put Spreeman on it or something like that, but it's Ravenscroft. So that's how it came to be named. He, he chose them. The original uh, concept for the business was to do custom for each person. And what in fact has happened is we've developed a sound of our own, the Ravenscroft piano sound, that we're delighted with and, and I really feel that about 98 percent of our consumer base is going to like what we present. Tempe Center for the Arts was gifted a, a nine-foot Ravenscroft piano so I had the opportunity to go and sit in each one of their venues and, and listen and see what the acoustics was like and, and to also see aesthetically what would work and we came up with a, a case design and an aesthetic look that we think is going to really blend and uh, really maybe add to what's going on there in, in the hall. We're thrilled to be on the receiving end of a donation uh, from the Friends of Tempe Center for the Arts that was actually made possible by a relationship with uh, Lakeshore Music. When Bob Ravenscroft said that he would like to give to the friends one of his custom-made pianos, I mean, I'm over the moon about this, and our board is terribly excited, too, because now we have this unique, one-of-a-kind gift that will always be very special to the Tempe Center for the Arts. Well, this was a, a year-long project to, to build this piano, uh, and the significance really has to do with the fact that the piano is custom built specifically for this facility and for this home. There's a part of me that it's, uh, it's a little sad to let it go uh, because we spent so much time with it, but there's a little bit of exhilaration too to see it here and to know what, what this is going to bring with time as different artists get to experience it and as different people come and get to hear it. So kind of a mixed, uh, mixed batch right now. I love pianos. So this particular one is probably one of the finest I've ever played without looking at my name on it and so forth. But, and it, 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 the Basendorfer and the, and the various pianos, Fazioli and, and Steinway, of course, um, they're all good. They're all good pianos. And this is right up there with them, but I, I think it's even better. It was a labor of love for us. It, it's, it, what we do here is, is a passion. It, it's, it's not so much a business as it, is, uh, as it is an art and a craft. And I guess the one thing that I would desire most is, is for people to enjoy it, to just enjoy uh, as, as participants, as, as uh, I think the most important thing is probably the sound of the piano. As you're sitting out in the audience, yes, you want it to look pretty and you want it to blend well, but um, when you come to a concert, you're coming to hear it. And, and as, as a listening, uh, as a person in the audience, I would say that the sound is, is absolutely the most important part. Mm -hmm.